Good evening, and it is evening, it's 7pm as I uh, start my session on the local canal after Perch. It's the sign that the summer holidays are here and the, uh, the boat traffic has been fairly heavy as I've been uh, walking along the canal and setting up. And quite funny in some ways because this is the time that people hire boats, perhaps for the first time. And uh, watching some of them navigate bends has been like watching uh, a very poor learner driver on the roads. But hopefully um, their enthusiasm, because it's the start of the, uh, the boat hire week today, um, hopefully their enthusiasm will wane off after a, a day along the canal and through the locks. And they'll all be moored up for the evening and I can have some, uh, some peace and quiet after the perch. Well... It's a session that uh, I'm really looking forward to, a place that I have been to before and caught perch, so I know they're in here and uh, I've just baited up, cast out and I'm hoping to, uh, to catch a perch before the evening's over. I've got about two and a half hours, maybe three hours of, uh, of light before I uh, pack up and go home. So as I always say, let's see how it goes. Just had a take on, uh, on one of the rods. In fact, I recast and uh, the perch. I recast, and within seconds, I've got the fish on, and hopefully, I'll be able to land it. Ooh, there it is. In the net, a result. Brilliant. And hopefully the boats have uh, stopped as well now for the evening. Into another one. It's quite hectic at the moment. After I, ooh, it's pulling. After I cut the, uh, the two perch, I had a, a run that didn't result in a fish. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, it's a perch. Oh, it's going over my other line. I landed the fish. The uh, tangle looked a lot worse than it was and uh, sounded a lot worse than it was with all the, uh, the bite alarms going off in unison. But uh, no damage done to the fish at all, no harm done to the fish. Hooked cleanly in the, uh, in the mouth, out very easily the hook. Uh, good fish as well, so best one of the, uh, the evening so far. So definitely enjoying myself and I've still got another um, couple of hours to go really, so who knows. But you know what fishing's like, probably catch nothing at all now. That's fishing for you, isn't it? And I've said that a few times, and I'll probably say it a few times again as well. This is a plant called the Greater Burdock. And if you look at the size of those leaves, they're quite uh, big. Put my hand there for comparison, so you can see they're certainly bigger than my hand. And at the top, you've got the, uh, the flower heads there. The moment they haven't come out into flower, they're quite, uh, they're quite sticky, so very, very characteristic of this particular flower. Uh, when they do come out, there's a lovely purple flower that comes through. I suppose a bit like a thistle, really, if you imagine a, you know, a common thistle. So this is the greater burdock, and within probably a, a week or so, maybe, it should be in, uh, should be in full bloom and uh, hopefully on a future trip I'll be able to capture it actually with the flowers showing. So greater burdock.
Good morning, back again on the canal for my second session of the week. I'm not an early morning person, but if it's a case of getting up early or not going fishing, then there's no contest. And so here I am, back on the Staffs Worcestershire Canal, pursuing the perch. I enjoyed my first session so much, I'm uh, here again. I uh, cast out, put the first rod out, a gudgeon tail section, and before I could even get the second rod out, I had a run which resulted in a, in a perch. About, about six ounces, so a, so a nice fish. It's just starting to rain now. The weather forecast said dry, so it's a good job I bought my umbrella. Just going to have me a cup of tea. And uh, looking at the, uh, the clouds overhead, I think I need to get the brolly up. I think I could have another one on. Yeah, I have. Doesn't feel a big fish, perhaps like the other one. It's about six ounces, which is probably uh, about the same. Actually, it's a bit smaller. I can just lift it straight out. They are lovely fish, though. I've never seen anyone fishing along here, and it's a, it's a decent walk, and I doubt whether. Uh, these fish have been fished for for probably years. But, uh, if you can see it there, oops. <coughs> see it there on the uh, the camera. It doesn't always come out from a distance, but it's about uh, it's about four ounces. So another nice fish, isn't it? I want to catch them a bit bigger, but they're all nice. That fish was a little bit bigger, so they're uh, increasing in size as I catch them. It's been quite hectic so far. I've had four runs and three fish. Thoroughly enjoying myself. The rain that we had at the beginning has actually uh, held off, so the weather forecast sort of, uh, sort of true, I think. But uh, it's a lovely, pleasant morning at the side of the canal, and I've just poured myself uh, another cup of tea. And the rods are cast out. Gudgeon head section on the one, and a gudgeon tail section on the other. And uh, it's great, isn't it? Being out at the water's edge early morning. That was Twinkle, my Bedlington Terrier. I brought her with me this morning and she saw a mouse in the undergrowth and she spent some minutes trying to catch it. Of course, the mouse had long disappeared down a hole or whatever, but she uh, continued to uh, search and scrape and mess around in the undergrowth. I've been here three hours. All the activity was early on and it's time to pack away now. The canal has just started to move. The water started to uh, go down the one end, which tells me that a boat will be along shortly. So I've enjoyed my session, just three hours, but it's local, so you can come for that sort of time when it's only down the road. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, check out my angling website, which is anglingdiary.com, and there's always an article that accompanies the video, or the video accompanies the article, however you want to uh, look at it but above all I hope you've enjoyed it and if it's inspired you to get out on the bank then job done. <laughs>